to start the dose of lineup here in Filchi, let's watch is franchising for you. The franchising guru himself will share us tips and ways on how to do good business through franchising. So, panoorin po natin to. Can I interview you for uh, some sharing of how, what's your secret in becoming a successful entrepreneur? Especially Chalice Donuts. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, come on, let's right. go. We're here to know and learn something from a young entrepreneur. A couple of that working together. In business, especially in franchising, when you want to get a franchise, know where the franchisor is coming from, how they started, what's their vision, and who they are. Very important. So today, we will be interviewing Jude Templo, together with his wife, Cello, to explain to them how Cello started six years ago and have expanded to more than six outlets and continuously expanding. Today, we have the couple, Jutes and Chelos, husband and wife, working together. So uh, that is very rare. Nowadays, a lot of people would just say, I'll go with my own job, or I'll go with my own business. But working together is a secret of success. What triggered everything? And I was taking a baking class, and then he fetched me with, um, with donuts. And then I, we thought, why don't we open a donut shop? At that time, um, we were limited in, in terms of choice with the available product. How about the research and development? I mean, did you perfect already the, the donut? Did you, yeah, we were. Yeah, um, after a few try, months, did you try? Yeah, we it still had so to people and all this. Yes, we invited our classmates, our friends to taste, uh -huh. suggested um, flavors that they liked also. So now we have. Well, uh, since our market was Ateneo, since we're located across Ateneo, um, since we just graduated, so we were our, our own target market. Actually, no start, medyo, ano, enjoy lang, enjoy lang. Eh. That's when peace, people started coming in, wow, uy, seryoso na to. And how did they come? By word of mouth? Oh, yes, sir, word of mouth. Sa school, lalo na sa school, sir, madali lang mag-spread ng word of mouth dyan kasi uh -huh. marami, marami students. Mm -hmm. Have you expanded from here? Right now, we have five branches, three of Three of which are company owned and uh, two are franchise. Where are these branches? This one is. We have. This first branch is. This is the first branch. In, Ateneo, right? in Katipunan. Uh, our second branch is in Taft Avenue in Lasal. Okay. Our third branch is in SM North, SM Sky Garden. Yeah. Okay. Our fourth branch, our first franchise outlet is in Alabang, mm -hmm. Alabang Town Center. And our fifth branch is in Davao, Davao City. Uh, this young couple did uh, an orthodox encounter. Why, why go to uh, actually, sir, nagkataon din kasi yung primary market namin are students. Yeah. Our students are the ones who are heavy on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it turned out na yung, yung Facebook strategy was very apt for us. Because it's the venue where they go. Eh. They don't really watch TV so much. They just go in the internet and watch things there. Eh. So your Facebook really worked for us. You mentioned franchising. Um, why, why franchising? Yes, sir, franchising is a, it's a good way to expand. So you have partners, you work hand in hand. Siyempre, two brains are better than one. That's why we're together. But ten brains are better than two. How do you support the franchise now, uh, Chelos? Do you, do you let them go on their own? Uh, what's the system? What's the setup? Yeah, um, like in Davao, we went there to teach them how to make the donuts. Okay. Like what to check for quality and... So are we talking of the same quality here? Like if I go to Davao and I go, I go to Taft and I go to Katipunan? It's, it's basically you get the same donut. Alright. So, uh, would you show us how you make donuts? Yes, can sir. You, can you show us uh, how the real original cellos can make donuts? Yes. So, Siguro, uh, viewers, I just want you to see how an entrepreneur who can do the talk, no? walk the talk, sabi nga nila. Uh, uh, demonstrate for us the, the art of making donuts. Very rare that we, we see 
the mom uh, being around a young entrepreneur. And at this point, I'd like to interview Julia Son Santos, the mother of Cello. I'd like to find out, what's your secret in uh, making this young girl a uh, successful entrepreneur? I think it's the genes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay, since Cello was young, she's been baking, she's been doing so many things. She would ask me how it was. Mm -hmm. I would always say it's the best cake I've tasted. And she said that was her challenge because she knew it wasn't good. And yet I was saying it's You're good. You're just trying to please her. Uh huh. How did you get this uh, influence of baking? Were you bake? Were you also baking cake? Baking before? once in a while, yes. But yeah. we, the family, loved to eat. And uh, from there on, how did you see her development? Oh, now she's my pride and joy. Wow. Now she inspires me. A lot of people, uh, entrepreneurs and that, would always say. Well, I have to invest in this. Um, what's the payback on your experience? What's around two years? We pay back two years. Two years. And how long is the franchise? Uh, the franchise tenure is around seven years. Uh -huh. Okay, so so wow. I mean, you're talking of seven years, two years payback, and you're talking of five years profit. Yes, sir. My gosh, that's a bargain. What key locations does it appear to be? Actually, we have a lot of customers requesting for branches in Makati. Oh, okay. Yes. So, yeah, na, huh? <laughs> viewers, watch out. Number one list, hot list. <laughs> okay, number one is Makati. Okay, what else? Arti, Arti gas, Cebu. Cebu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about Binondo? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good location. Okay, Binondo area. There you are, my viewers. You have just heard the couple and you have actually seen Cello making donut from scratch. See, that is the key. In franchising, when you see this couple, when you see the owners being so dynamic, that's a sure sign that you'll be successful. Why? Because you're riding on with their passion and their dream. Cello's may be young at this point, but she's so full of wisdom. And together with their young husband as well, Jutes, they work together so dynamically that they, they share each other's vision. And look at that, the inspiration that her mom, Julie Yamson Santos, gave. See? So, what can we learn from them? One, in, in business, no matter if you're the same donut, like for example, there's still our niche or that something that will be different from, from the others, from competition. Second is, they started very, very slow, and yet they carefully crafted their product through word of mouth. So much so that they're now ready to expand in key cities. And remember, the book that I highly recommend for people who want to know about the business of franchising, or getting into franchise, or anything that you want to know, read my book, because this book will guide you. Such an investment to make before you make such a huge mistake. This is Butch Bartolome. Keep in touch. Watch for my next segment. I'll be bringing you successful franchisors, entrepreneurs, young and old.